All right, buying experience. Jeanette, did you want to say a little bit about your buying experience? Did you just buy a home, I understand? Well, well, we did. We, um, we bought a fixer-upper, and we actually wish we hadn't. But um, that's, that's beside the point. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I've worked in real estate for about 15 years, and I've been to notaries and help people negotiate, and I, I've really been uh, involved in a lot of different uh, operations. And, you know, you'd think that I'd have a certain amount of experience, which is due, but, you know, you just never know how it's going to go. And it was just a total mess from beginning to end. Um, um, you know, which I won't even get into the details, but it was just, it was not a fun experience for, for, for us um, buying because our dossier was lost and then it got lost again and then it got found and then they thought we were buying two houses. And, and it, was, it was, yeah, it was just a mess. And, and actually, even in the negotiating process, I uh, went ahead and paid, you know, was very happy to pay the commission to, uh, to a realtor um, to help in the negotiations, and even that just, that was just a mess and dragged on. And anyway, so, you know, the buying experience is just, it, it varies from everybody. You had a very good experience, didn't you, Jeff? Yeah, yes, I did. My experience it was pretty uh, st straightforward. It, it, it went on for about, actually, we have here three months. Ours, it took us about three months, but once we, um, so once we signed the compromis de vente, which is what we're going to talk about a little bit later, but it's, it's the, the contract that you have when you buy a house or we bought an apartment. Um, it was, that was pretty good. It took us about three months. Actually, what was probably for us, what, what was the most work was finding the loan, actually. Um, we started out, it took us probably, I would say, six months from when we started buying, started looking to buy, to when we, when we bought. And the reason I say that we bought kind of quickly, which is, that can actually be kind of quickly in France, the French tend to take a long time, is that this next thing here is a pre acto zero. Uh, if you're a resident in France, or you're a French, French, yeah, French resident, or a French person who lives in France, you have this right to this pre acto zero, and the government lent us 19,000 euros, uh, um, and we, didn't have, we don't have to pay any rent, uh, rent. we don't have to pay any uh, interest on it. And because of the way they figure it out, it's figured out by tax year and your taxes, etc. We needed to buy something by the, we needed to sign a contract um, by the end or the very beginning of 2006 to, so that we could qualify the, for the credit to zero. So we kind of, I moved things along, I looked around, we, we looked at about five or six places, found what we liked, and we went and it was pretty good. There wasn't really a lot of there was not many hang-ups. It was pretty good. I was, I was happy. And going back up here, the internet, you can find a lot of properties, including on My Americans in France, that are for sale on the, on, on the internet. The one thing I will warn you about is that sometimes the properties have been sold, and sometimes the prices aren't right, and that really isn't necessarily my fault for if I'm Americans in France or even the agent's fault. The problem is, is that in France there's no MLS. So a property can be listed on multiple, at multiple agencies, on multiple websites, and, and there's no, it's just the owner who kind of takes care of that. And if the owner sells and they don't, they decide, well, you know, they sell, they sell and it's all done, and maybe they don't inform the other agencies, and so it's a problem. And when I was looking for my my uh, apartment, we well, we first we wanted a house, but because where we live is very expensive, we could only afford an apartment. I was looking on the internet, and I found some stuff that looked very interesting, but it turned out it was sold, and it was just because the the uh, the owner hadn't informed the agency. It wasn't necessarily the agent's fault. And in fact, we looked at a house that had been the night before the owner had come to an agreement with somebody. Um, and the agent didn't even know that. So it was, that was the thing about the M no MLS is, is, is you need to, that's good to know that you can find a property in multiple um, agencies. Did you want to add anything about that, uh, Janet? I'm sorry, we have a, we're having a... 
You're breaking up. Might have, they might want to ask if there is something similar to it. You, Jan, Jenna, can you repeat what you said? Because there was a, there was a, a lot of static. I got a lot of static. Can you just start from the top of what you were saying? Yeah, I just wanted to say that um, most people you can you can kind of count on from uh, the time that you start that you sign the first contract to this to, to the last contract of deed. Um, the duration is standard three months. And um, can you hear me now, Jeff? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And I just wanted to say for the for the loan at, at the zero percent, um, I don't know if they're going to if they're still doing that in 2011. Um, so if for for anybody out there buying in 2011, when you might want to ask at the bank if there is anything. Uh, that is comparable to uh, the the zero percent loan. All right. There probably will be, but they might change the name. That's the way it's. Yeah. Uh, you you just yeah things change a lot here. And I think you you got your loan through mayorto.com, right? Yeah yeah we did, and I would really recommend this service. Now we had a lot of problems with it. But that it was actually really not their fault. We we had a lot of problems with the bank that we decided to go with, basically. But Mayor Cho um, is is uh, is going to save you a lot of footwork. They have a great reputation. They're basically just bank brokers, and uh, but they will find you the the best um, the best rate for you and what your needs are. So I would highly recommend um, at least going and getting information with them. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing we wanted to, to point out is that there are no appraisals. There are no appraisals in France that, that are legally buying the sale. Um, houses in France can be listed at anything the owner wants, essentially. 